Hello everyone, this is Rehan backing you with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to install mod manager for GTA 5 for PC. Okay, so what is the main advantage of this mod manager is uh, so before you install any mod uh, you will be copy and paste the files manually into the game folder. So uh, if you wanted to remove that mod and if you wanted to go to GTA online you have to go and manually delete that folder and even for some mods like environment mod you have to replace the you know core file uh, and, and you need to do the open IV stuffs you know, and then and then if you want to remove the mod and and maybe sometimes the mods developed by the developers even corrupt, corrupt our games it's not the problem of that developers but the GTA 5 game is keep on getting updates for each and every month so to avoid the, those crash issues we can use mod manager in that place okay so so that so this mod manager is a very very powerful tool guys uh, you can just you know enable and disable the mod just by unchecking and checking the mod okay so in this video i'm going to show you how to install the mod manager and in the in the next couple of videos and not not couple of videos i'm going to make a lot of videos on the gta 5 modding uh, that is going to help you to install the mods without uh, you know corrupting the game uh, so uh, since the GTA 5 is keeping on update, uh, the steps may vary. If it is going to get varied, obviously I would be mentioning that in the comments and I will be pinning that comment to the top or I will be mentioning that in the description. You guys can follow that. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel to know more about the GTA 5 modding. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's go into how to install this mod manager. Okay. So. Um, so if you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel so this is my channel okay let's close it so these are the steps to install the mod manager which I which I wrote for your easy reference if you guys are don't want to uh, see the video you guys can check this uh, I have I have given these steps in the description you guys can directly uh, follow these steps and you can install the mod manager okay so first thing you need to uh, in a download mod manager and also the script hook file okay so first we will download the mod manager so this is the gta 5 mod manager this keeps on uh, getting updated um, if any if it is not getting supported and if you guys uh, face any issues don't worry the developer within not more than one week to one month he will update the mod manager so i have given the his his official link where you can uh, you know download the updated mod manager okay so first download it okay and next we have to download the script group file similarly uh, as the game gets updated the script hook 5 will also do support but don't worry once uh, once the game is updated the script hook 5 developers will also within one week they will update it so if in case if you guys face any uh, error like uh, the script hook 5 supports only these these versions uh, uh, make sure you first buy have the official version of the game and then download the script hook 5 and this script proof file will be always supporting the latest version of the GTA file. Okay, so we will download the script proof file. So it's redirecting to its official websites. I will also give this link in the description so that uh, you guys can directly download it from there. So you need to download it here. It's uh, updated on October 25. We just updated, got updated one week back. So I have already downloaded it so let's open that okay so this is the script hook file zip and the other one is the gta 5 mod manager so this is the mod manager so we have downloaded both the things now uh, first thing you need to do is you need to extract the mod manager so what we will do is we will just extract to the specific folder i will extract it to my youtube video knows gtm mod tutorial i will extract it here 
okay and then we will extract this uh, script to file okay extract to specify folder the YouTube video notes your mark manage tutorials and uh, script hook fine okay so this is also so we actually we have extracted both the downloaded zip files then what we need to do is we'll go to the downloaded file so this is the GTA 5 mod manager so uh, first when you open it it will ask for admin access you need to give yes don't worry this is not a virus if you guys are new to uh, mod manager okay so you need to agree and then uh, you, you first need to uh, detect the installation path of your game uh, if you have steam it will be under c program files uh, let me show you because i'm having the steam version so if you if we have steam then we have to go to c program for s86 steam uh, steam apps common gta5 so this is the game path which you need to give so it's uh, asking for gta5.exe so you just like this file and click, click open so uh, if you have rockstar version same thing you need to do or wherever you have installed that rockstar version you just go and select the gta5 exe file okay so this is a steam version so you need to select the steam version if it is rockstar then you can select rockstar okay and the next thing is this mod storage location so this one so there so here is where you are going to put all your scripts okay so uh, you need to uh, create one folder and that folder it's better to be advisable to be in the same drive as where you have installed the game game so here currently i have installed the uh, game in c drive so i'm going to create a new folder in mod storage location uh, i mean like uh, in c drive so that will be the mod storage location okay we will change it from the default location go to pc c and i'm going to create a new folder in the c new folder and this is going to have gta5 mods i have already created it and i am using this one since this is for tutorial i'm creating another one okay so i have created this gta v mods folder and i selected it okay so the next option is disable mods on exit exit so if you want to disable all the mods when you exit the game you can enable this if you don't want it then you can disable it okay so i always advise you to enable it uh, because if you if you want if you sometimes if you direct, directly run it from the stream stream uh, the game will start updating so that time it, it may throw like it have, game has some corruption or not so i advise you guys to enable the disable uh, mods on exit okay then leave this timeout as default based on the speed of your system how fast it launches you just keep it for now for me 75 is really big and it is a standard one so i left it like that then keep click on accept okay now and now it's showing like no mods installed okay uh, then what we need to do is you need to set one settings uh, which so if you want to go to the settings you need to click on this gear, gear icon and uh, it is uh, so this so this setting you need to set this one this is folder mod detection enabled so uh, the, uh, there are the two more the two modes one is file mode and uh, folder mode so folder mode is kind of a cleaner way of keeping the mods okay so you, you'll be putting all your scripts and mods into a folder so you need to keep this thing enabled and keep this all this uh, enable nanny mode and high priority tweak mode is like uh, it will run the gtfi.ex instead of the launcher and firewall rule creation is like uh, this will add gta5 to the firewall so that you know uh, it won't uh, it, it won't so that you won't get blocked when you are using the mods uh, i mean you can't use a mods when you are in online you can use it only for a single player uh, so if you are so even, even in that case if you don't if you don't want rockstar to detect you then you can 
give the firewall rule creation enabled okay then you can also give force social club offline enabled version so this will actually open the game with the social club offline okay so that is how you need to do it and you need to close it okay now we will install a sample script so uh, i have extracted the script root 5 here so what you need to do is you need to uh, generally what you will do is you will copy these three files and put it in the game score folder like you will be pasting it in here okay so as you guys can see it's already there because uh, I, uh, I already used another mod manager okay so now so now we will try to install the our our in the new list in the newly downloaded script hook file um, before that uh, since i guys have shown you this i'll delete this versus native trainer script hook file and what is the third file it is and the d8 import okay we will delete all these three files d input okay we will de we will delete these three files okay you see because this is what we have downloaded it so i can i guess i can show you guys that it the what mohot manager is actually doing it okay and then you, you can either add mod like this but uh, my uh, but, but but it's better to add it manually in the mod manager folder so if you guys remember i created the mod manager folder in c and in the root root folder of c root drive of c so this is the gta 5 mods okay so it's already created some rpf we'll delete this so we'll create a new folder and we'll call it like script hook v you guys can give space or without space whatever you want so that doesn't matter then after this uh, we have extracted the mod where is it uh, this is the script hook file it's in d youtube Renault's. so these three files are there so uh, so this script hook v and d8 input is the main file for the script hook so we will copy and paste it here and after that if you, if you go to the mod manager and if you press reload you guys can see that the script hook 5 folder whichever we have created here has came here so if you want to enable it you just need to take it that's all guys so it's that simple as that okay now the next is the native trainer so this is a sample script that comes along with the script hook 5 so um, you, uh, so like it's advisable to create a separate folder for native trainer uh, because there are other trainers like advanced trainers are there advanced simple trainer there are a lot of trainers are there so if you want to use that then you have to disable the native trainer in that case which i'll be uh, so it's a, it's better advisable to keep the native trainer in a separate folder so i have created a separate folder and i have copied this native trainer asi okay now if you go and reload it here and then you guys can see that there is a script hook file and a native trainer okay so we have both these things now what we need to do is we need to select it and then you have to press it on the single player game okay that's all guys so that's how you need to install the mod manager so now i'll press single player and then i will exit the game and i'll show you uh, like um, what change is going on in the gta game folder you guys can see i have actually deleted the uh, file the script hook file d8 input and native trainer but you guys can see this mod manager is actually created these three files here so that's what it does guys and if you disable it it will mod manager will automatically will remove these three files okay so that's how the mod manager works so so uh, it's actually doing the automation process of uh, we are of we are copying and you know removing the script okay so we will launch the game
Okay guys, now the mod manager is running. Um, so, or to open the native trainer, you need to press function 4 or F4 in your keyboard. So if you press the F4 and you need to navigate using your number keypad. Okay. So for up and down it is 8 and 2 and if for left and right it is 4 and 6. So here currently it is only up and down. If you want to select anything you can just uh, select it by uh, selecting uh, by pressing 5. You can, so get all weapon is already there. So we will just uh, enable uh, fire ammo okay now i just want to add explosive ammo so we can enable okay now we will you know if you want to exit it you need to press f4 so which is kind of a back button kind of thing okay now we will take out a weapon take a weapon so i'm just taking a normal weapon so if i shoot it you should explode wow so installing cheat is fun but it is advisable not to use when you are playing online game okay okay we will just uh, just show you some gameplay so that you guys also feel interested okay there is uh, the police is also coming let's shoot some police okay Okay, buddy. <laughs> Can I able to switch character? No, I can't be able to switch character. When hmm. police is chasing, you can't able to switch character. Great. Oh my god. Oh, oh. <gasps> that was cool, guys. Okay, where is the... Bye-bye. Uh, Bye bye. Okay, some more people are coming. Let's get, let's die. Oh, okay, guys. Okay, guys. I hope you guys like this video. And if you guys like this video, give us a give us a thumbs up. And if you guys have any queries on how to install the mod manager, you guys can uh, uh, come. You guys can give it in the comments. Uh, and if any any steps is getting updated i will update those steps in the description uh, instead of uh, wasting time in making a new video so just uh, you know you can you guys can keep this video and watch later or you guys can subscribe to my channel and you guys can come back to this video if mod manager stopped working for you okay and if you guys will, will stop working for you let me know in the comments i will also in case if i'm busy i will also you know come back and uh, fix it and uh, update it for you guys okay guys i hope you guys like this video and if you guys like this video give us a thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel for more videos and i see you guys in the next video bye bye yeah.